and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to do something um, that's needed to be done for a while, but I've been putting it off. Probably going to hate myself at the end of the day, or not the end. The end will be great. The middle, not so much. I'm going to empty everything out and reorganize this kitchen. I want to reorganize the kitchen because I got a new toy for the kitchen. I'm super excited about it. We waited for years to get one and we were finally able to save up and get one. And um, I will show you what that is. But that was the final push I needed to make sure that we go ahead and reorganize this kitchen and just get it in order that works for me and my family. Now we've only been in this kitchen for about seven to eight months, but um, it was enough time to just kind of get in a disarray and add a few things to it. So I just wanna make sure that it's really functional for my family. So join me today, stay tuned as I show you what we got for the kitchen and I hope you enjoy. Here she is. I've never had one of these. Um, I'm so excited. Let's open her up. Ta-da! So, I got a KitchenAid mixer in this matte pink color. I'm gonna open it all the way up. I'm not gonna put it out clearly on the cabinet or on the I'm not going to put it out on the counters yet, just because um, there's no room. But that's what I want. I want to be able to clean up the kitchen so that I do have room to display her on the counter. And yes, I'm calling her her. We're probably going to name her. Don't judge me. It's okay. I love it. I'm so excited. So this is my goal, to get this up on the counters today and not have a mess surrounding it. Let's see what we can do. So I did run the dishwasher this morning. I'm going to dry these and then um, put them away-ish because I want to make sure all the dishes, or most of the dishes, ideally it would be all dishes, are clean so that you can see where everything fits because there's nothing worse than reorganizing and then seeing, oh, whoops, I forgot we have to put this away too. So, um, but with kids and living here, you know, doing life at the same time as this, it's not always possible. Um, so... I am going to dry what I can, see if I can pick up any dishes. But as the day goes on, I'm sure they're going to be using dishes, so I'm just going to have to keep that in mind. So here is kind of our before. Let's hope it looks better after. So here was my attempt at um, just quickly getting organized. When we moved in, we had to purchase a lot of things. Um, we downsized and then had to repurchase things that we had to get rid of. And so we had to do that very, very slowly. And just under the sink um, items was not a priority. So yes, this is a used beer bottle um, box, but it's super sturdy and thick because it holds the bottles. So I had this in there and it just housed some of our cleaners. I'm going to clean down here things because this is where we house our trash can. It gets kind of sloppy. Um, when we miss, although that stain, I'm going to try to clean it anyways, but the, when we moved in, the handyman did say it tends to leak down here. So I try to keep an eye on it. And then we have like random pieces when we moved in the appliances, they had put new appliances in, but they had pieces that they, I guess, didn't mount or didn't put in. They didn't feel like they needed to put in. So they just left random pieces around in our kitchen. So those are kind of tucked into some of our, um, cabinets as well and I don't want to get rid of them because they don't belong to us they're theirs so I just kind of was tucking them into the nearest shelves or you know just pushing them towards the backs of the shelves we found them in um like this is a manual I think for something for the fridge maybe so I don't want to get rid of that stuff um but I do need to just clean and make it functional while we are here Okay, so for down here, I just give the bottom a good wipe. I think what I'll do is go back to the Dollar Tree. They have these clear cutting mats, and I'm going to put them underneath 
um, this area here so that in case it ever does leak or it is slowly leaking and we don't even realize it, it's protected a little bit more. I just moved the trash can the other way so that it will close. Sometimes we don't put it all the way. All the way. Um, so I put that there and then the extra piece that we don't know what it goes to, but it goes to one of their appliances. It's just behind the trash can. And then I did just purchase these from Walmart. They were like 98 cents, I think, each. So it just it looks a little nicer than the beer um, case we had, but don't knock the beer case because it was free with the purchase of beer. <laughs> and it lasted for quite some time. Walmart, and I'm just gonna put the clean rags down here for now. So this was like one of those mini 90 nine cent crate things. The things that are not going back under my sink are these dusters. I think I'm going to make a little dusting and cleaning kit for my kids in like a cleaning bucket and put that in a separate um, closet for them. Okay, so now I have the kids rolling the towels for me while I'm going to dry the dishes in the dishwasher. I'm having them roll them so that they can learn um, one, how to do it, and then two, they can be in charge of this and it will be one less thing off mom's plate and one more skill that they've learned. Okay, now we come to this section. I just wanted to see if the mixer would fit there, and it does, and then I give this counter area a good wipe down. Um, here in this section, I we have, this is one of my favorite things, and I actually think it was like a gift with purchase from Pampered Chef many years ago. I bought, must have bought something, and I think this is like when you buy enough stuff, you get this free. These are two of our favorite and most often used recipes. I have a friend, Stephanie, years ago who gave me a recipe for pancakes and I um, have used it so many times. This is what I make my pancake muffins out of also. And then an easy oatmeal bake that I can't remember where I got it from, but it takes minimal um, ingredients and you can just add anything to it. So I just love that. So that stays out there along with our spoon rest. And then these, um, these two don't fit in the cupboard. We could get prettier salt and pepper shakers, um, but we haven't, it's not a priority. If this was something that I was spending money on, maybe this would be the next thing that we buy. Um, this does fit in there, but we use it so often, I just kind of leave it out. So this is out for right now. I don't know if I want to get like a basket or something for it to kind of make it look pretty, but for now I'm just glad that the counter space is, is mostly cleared off. In here, we just kind of have overflow of our spices and then some extra small jars up there. Um, and then tucked away is a toy we had to take away from my daughter and it's in toy jail. <laughs> so this is also overflow of spices and then good china. I'm not sure if there's much to be done in this space. Maybe if I need more room, I will try to clear it out, but I may just leave it as is, as, as well as, um, my spice drawer. I'm not going to change anything in my spice drawer. I like it. It's functional and it works well for us. So I'm going to leave that drawer alone, which leaves me to tackle the baking underneath. So this could probably use some maintenance. I think I'm going to get started on that as well as um, in here. Everything pretty much works for us. I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit.
So I had purchased these from the Dollar Tree thinking that I was gonna make one of those DIY Lazy Susans, um, you know, where you put the, you put a few marbles here and then you put this one on top and then the marbles help this move, but I've never done it. And so now I have four of these pie tins that I've never used. Um, I kinda don't wanna get rid of them because I have them, but I'm not really sure where I would use them at. Um, and I'm not even sure that I have the marbles for it anymore either. Um, things like this, like this, and these. So these are some of those spring form um, cake pit pounds where you can open it up and stuff. I think I maybe used it once, and I can't even remember if I liked using it. So, um, but because I'm like nervous to get rid of them, I don't know what I should do. So what I'm gonna do with this pile here is I'm going to hold on to it for now, which I know goes against every like organization hacks and tips and whatever. But I'm gonna hold on to it for just like two, maybe three months. And if I haven't used it, I'm getting rid of it. So I'm telling myself that now, and then that way I know and I don't feel bad if I don't use it. So I'm gonna make a project with these, or I'm gonna use them up, I'm gonna do something with them, and if not, I will pass them on to someone else who will appreciate it. So this drawer, I went ahead and just took the bread maker out and I'll show you later a temporary solution for it. But my mixing bowls just went back in. Um, the things we're getting rid of are our mixing bowls we had previously. So these are gonna go over for the kids in their play area also. And then this, um, we had what was some glass bowls that we've gotten rid of. So we're gonna get rid of these. And then these, um, they're the liners for your stove, and we don't have this type of stove anymore, so we're gonna get rid of this stuff. And the next area I'm gonna work on is underneath our cabinet, our island here. These drawers in the island, I actually redid the other day, so I'm gonna leave them because they're fine. It took me like five minutes to redo it, and I'm glad that I did. This is kind of just our baking stuff, so baking cups, spoons, um, I have duplicates, I'm keeping them, I use them, um, I have a place for them, so that's that. Yes, if you really wanna minimize, you can, you can just go down to one, but we use them, we bake a lot and cook, and so I'm keeping it all. And then this drawer, like I said, I just redid both of these. This one is our silverware drawer, and um, it's... Here's an item that we don't actually use very often, but my husband really likes it. So I'm gonna keep it just for that purpose. We will use it on occasion, not all the time, but my husband has appreciated it. Um, there's not much in the kitchen that he's like, I really like that. So I'm gonna keep it. It is a cake stand, and then it can also turn into a punch bowl. Um, we, we've actually never used the punch bowl part, but the cake stand is pretty. And when my kids are a little bit older, maybe, um, or have more self-control, or I have more self-control also, I could actually just leave the cakes down now, out on the island. Um, but for now, we just use it on occasions, birthdays and things like that, and then it just adds an extra something special to that day. So I am gonna keep this, even though it's an item we don't use often because it brings a lot of joy to our, our whole family. And then here's another one of those things that like another piece that they had, I'm sure this is a bracket to something, probably the oven, so, I mean, we can't get rid of it because, but it was just thrown in here. So I think I'm gonna put this under the sink as well with that other extra piece. I went ahead and moved these breaking trays up on top because they're a little bit lighter and I moved the glass ones to the bottom and then behind it are things we don't use very frequently and it's like a travel case for cupcakes, our muffins, and then my vacuum seal machine. Here is things you've seen all over my house in my kitchen. It is just um, a used cardboard box from Costco. We buy this yogurt, um, but I put it here to kind of help contain the um, like parchment paper and saran wrap and things like that um, because I could just stack them up like I had them, but when we grab one out, they were like falling over. So I put that here. If I really wanted to get fancy, I could get, con I could. well, if I really wanted to get fancy, I would buy like some really pretty box just for this particular area, but I'm not gonna do that. 
Um, or I could just cover this with contact paper or, you know, that craft paper, just brown paper. But for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. It's totally fine. It works. This um, is like a grill. Um, one side, it's got the, the grill marks. And then on this side, it's like more of a griddle. So I put that to its side by itself. We had it with the baking items, but that was one of the things that was just getting like tossed and stuff. This again is another one of these from Dollar Tree. I'm going to try out keeping our silicone mats in here. This is um, like one of those wood boards for the smoker, um, but the silicone mats are getting kind of jumbled up too. So I'm going to try having them in here with our drying racks and see how that works. We'll, we'll find out. I'll see how my son um, I say my son because he helps put the dishes away the most, so that's that's his job. And then back there is the cake and punch bowl set. So this one is all set. So these drawers, I have a feeling, are going to be a little trickier, um, just because I've got some odd-shaped things that need to go in here. I'm thinking maybe all they need is some good divider-type things. Let's see what I can come up with. Okay, I am going to go ahead and cover this in contact paper that we had up there. Originally, I wanted this contact paper to cover our um, counters. I have seen someone do this before on Instagram. I can't remember her name. I actually don't even think she's on Instagram anymore. But she also rented and she didn't like her countertop, so she found this marble and covered it. I never did it. And I've already started cutting away this um, contact sheet. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to cover it because... Some of our knives and utensils are not covered, like they're not, they don't have, our knives don't all have, um, let me just show you what I mean. Some of our knives don't have this cover thing on it, and then if I put the contact sheet on, my thinking is that I'll be able to wipe it down better, versus if I just have it in the cardboard, I won't be able to wipe it down at all. So, I'm going to go ahead and cover this box. Um, yeah, I was thinking that I might have some plastic dividers or things, but I don't yet. So I'll go ahead and put it on the list of things we'd like to have. And then um, we just kind of every now and again, when we have a little bit extra in the budget, we look at that list and we kind of prioritize the things that we um, would like to put forward, if, um, if anything. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this little side project. Okay, so clearly there is a reason um, professional wallpaper wallpaperers are professional. I'm not one of them. I can't do this contact stuff on here. But you know what? It's better than before. We're still going to use it. Let's get back to it. Take a look at this one. I actually, I don't think I'm gonna do too much to it. I think it looks good the way it is. It's functional for us, that's our. So this top shelf is just our overflow of teas and then I'll show you really quickly how we organized our tea. So we actually did this in the apartment we were in. Um, this is a contact, just a recycled board that we covered with contact paper. And then um, the teas, the Bigelow teas that have individual packets and our other ones we just put them in here with little dividers and the dividers are actually the um, pieces of the tea cardboard themselves so this is how we do the ones that have their individual packets and then the other ones that don't like the celestial brand doesn't we have just a, a tupperware container here and then we do the snack size bags and i cut the top of the or the front of the tea and then we put our tea bags in here and we reuse our baggies and then it kind of just works as a little filing system for us. So this is how we store our teas and we get a lot of teas fit in to one container.
Okay, I'm slowly making a dent on this side of the kitchen. Um, I went ahead and finished this cabinet. It's not that much. I did decide to get rid of two um, dishes, two of the kids' dishes. This is where our extra larger jars are and a lot of food saver bags. Okay, this one is done. I just had to re-tidy it up um, and then kind of just rearrange some things, but I just kept the lids in this little um, like shoebox container without the lid and like in a super fancy <laughs> um, organizing video, I would have just dumped everything and bought all matching Tupperware, but you know, I don't have the funds for that and I'm not putting it in the budget to do that right now. So maybe at a later date we can slowly build that project up, but for now, this is good. Okay, so here is what I think we're going to end up donating. Um, this one, it has the lid, but it is a different shape than the newer ones I bought. And so I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um, we don't use this at this plastic water bottle. My husband has a, a like a nicer new jug that he's using. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of, probably just going to toss this actually, because I don't think anybody's going to want that. <laughs> but um, a couple of water bottles and then a couple of glass containers that we don't need. So I'm just gonna get rid of this little pile and then I will show you what the kitchen looks like. Okay, so this is what our kitchen looks like. I could have taken all the kids stuff off the um, refrigerator for aesthetics, but you know, this is real life and it would just go back to that five minutes later. So I'm gonna leave it. The crock pot is out because that is what's for dinner tonight. Um, but I'm happy that we got more countertop space clear. Um...